Hello everyone, welcome back to the farm. It's early March here, and you are looking at my favorite of the three wild orchids that grows at our place. This is called the swamp orchid. They only bloom in the spring. All of the other orchids that we have here, well, the two other main kinds of free orchids that we have here, grow, they flower all year round, but these only flower in the spring. This is how it looks today. Beautiful day. The official scientific name for these is Phaeus tankervillier. Phaeus tankervillier. The main thing I love about these flowers, well, first of all, they have a lovely smell. They're also more bigger and more beautiful. <laughs> No, they're all beautiful. They look different from the bottom than from the top. From the top, they look all green, all white. And from the bottom, they look kind of brown and purple, which is really fun. Their leaves look like this. And what they're growing in is basically nothing. Like this is roots. This is uluhi fern roots and brush and rock. The rock is like right under here. This is, well, this isn't the rock. This is a luhi root, but the rock is under there. So this is the zero to four inches of organic that we were promised. They grow, they split from bulb. So here they have a bulb where they're connected. This is connected to that, this connected to this. So this is a whole bulb under there. And one stalk will go up, it'll die maybe, but then it'll separate out. I think this is all connected actually. This is all connected under here. And little ones will come off, but they also make seeds. So these, when they die, will wither. You can actually see it start to happen on this one. See, this is dying, this is dry, and then this part becomes the seed pod and the seeds are going to be in there. This is going to get much bigger, really fat, and then it's going to split open along these lines. And then all the little teeny weeny tiny seeds, they're like dust, will fly everywhere. So what we're doing today, so as you can see, the plant has two propagation methods. Today we're going to try to separate out some of these babies. So over here you can see Here's another patch. This is a really like nice thicket of them here. I wouldn't be trying to remove any babies if there weren't that many here to begin with. But since there are, I think we can try to spread this and then we'll have more of these orchids. So these are, you can just really, if you see their roots there, when they're small like this, this is the best to remove them. There's their tiny little roots. We can pull a few out. Now, if you've grown orchids at home, you're probably familiar with the fact that they don't live in soil. They live in orchid medium or potting medium. And what the potting medium tries to replicate is exactly this kind of stuff, right? This is the forest floor in kind of poor, this is what is called a poor tropical soil. But orchids grow in all kinds of poor soils. This Phaeus tinkervillier is called swamp orchid for a reason. There's the tiny little bulb and the tiny little roots. I'm going to put these all over the place. This one, see already here, it looks already a little bit harder to pull. If I tried to break this one out, it would probably break and the roots wouldn't come. I mean, you can always try to get bigger ones, like these. Maybe I can show you what it's like when you get a bigger one. For the bigger ones, try and grab around as much of the bulb as you can, being gentle, and just kind of slowly pull them up. So here's a bigger one. You can see this one I got, this has all the different little bulbs. Multiple bulbs. And see, these ones... That little triangle where my thumb is, that little tiny triangle, that can be a new, uh, a new tall leaf. It's 
stalk. No, it's not a stalk. Stem. Stem. So you can actually further separate these into one of these little round ones with a stem and some root, and that will go. These have divisions, so I think a different stem can come out of each division. There's the tiny division there. You can see it. This one has one, too. So that little triangle, that's where a new stem can come. So you can separate them out if you want, but if you, you know, they get energy from being all together like that. So you can keep them together and they'll grow faster. Let's see if there are any others. There's a big one here. I'll split some more. I'll take just a couple more. Oh, this one you can get a better sense for. You can see a little bit better what's going on with its roots and the little, little bulb. See, this, this bulb doesn't have, uh, like, segments. It's just one, one bulby segment. So let's take these and we'll walk around. Here's our propagation. We can put them somewhere where there's equally poor soil. But we want some of these to grow. Oh, that's a spider web that I just walked into. Let's put one right here. And given that they were previously just sort of in the brush, I can kind of clear a little bit of the brush away here, get it to a moist part. There's like basically, there's no, I mean, I pretty much hit rock immediately. And bury it a little. Not bury it, but just cover it. Because those roots still need air. You don't, I'm not burying them in soil. Just want to keep them wet. And like if you go right in here, just a tiny bit under the top layer of leaves, it'll be wet. So that's the, just one example. I'm going to walk around and propagate the rest of these little friends. Um, as for putting them in water, I mean, I think you can, but they'll probably rot. So you want to just go ahead and get them into their final spots pretty fast. And they like to be on the ground. This is not an air, air orchid. So yeah, thanks for enjoying with me. Until next time.